So my post up day four is where it all really started changing for me. Um, it was still painful and still difficult, but getting out in and out of bed really became significantly easier. Um, I was still a little bit shocked and kind of getting over seeing myself for the first time. But in the video, I talk a lot about just trying to remain positive. So I think I still had a very positive outlook on on the, the long-term goal, um, which was key for me. Um, one thing to note is what really took over on day post-op day four was the itchiness. I was really, really itchy and it was, it was becoming probably like the worst part of it. Like it was, the itching was so, so annoying. Um, and I mentioned in a few videos when I said, you know, one of the things that I wish I'd, I'd prepped in the beginning was um, taking or buying some kind of antihistamine Benadryl. So um, I won't talk much about the introduction of this video. It was just me kind of giving an update, um, a little bit of an update on me having quite big spots after surgery, which is something that I wasn't expecting, but I did some research and you can be quite spotty after surgery. Um, so even if you're not someone that suffers from acne or skin problems, expect that you might become a bit spotty. Um, apparently it's something to do with the, the, you know, all the drugs that you've been on, the fact that in most cases, you know, you might not be getting outside. Now I lived in New York City and I didn't leave my apartment for the first three, four days. So I wasn't getting any fresh air. Um, and, and obviously, you know, I wasn't, um, wasn't doing anything so I did get what I'd call bad skin but be prepared that day four you might start really suffering from the itching and that's something that I really found difficult to deal with and the itching didn't die down I still get a bit itchy now and I'm day 20 um but yeah then the following week from day post-op day four to post-op day 14 it was a good 10 days of itchiness so be prepared that you are going to be very, very itchy. So try and get yourself some Benadryl or some kind of antihistamine to help manage that. And it, it gets much better, much worse, sorry, in the night because you're not distracted. Um, so I really found the itchiness something I struggled with at night time. But I hope you enjoy my day four because I'm significantly improved. I was still huge with regards to swelling. Like I definitely, I, I would say I had a good eight inches extra around my waist um, and I'm still, you know, I'm still wearing my drains and my body is a very different story to what it is now post up day 20. But I was, it was the first day that I actually got dressed um, and I did take the dog out and I've spoke about taking the dog out and how hard it was. So even though there was a vast improvement, I couldn't take, you know, more than, 20 steps without you know hunched over breathing and heavily and leaning on a wall um it that was the day because i because i could suddenly do more it was the day that i noticed um how much the surgery had taken out of me like i was literally having to just sit down and and rest after doing 20 steps it was exhausting um so significant significant improving the fact that i could do stuff but really highlighted just how much the surgery will take it out of you. Um, you know, and that, and that, and that also goes quickly, um, you know, within 20 days I'm back to walking six miles a day. So that has also changed. Um, but be prepared that you are going to lose significant fitness on, on whatever kind of, um, stage you're at your life in fitness. Now it's going to really deteriorate, but it does come back quickly. Um, but yeah, that was my, my day four. Um, I hope you get something out of it. Good morning. Finally on day four. Um, it's almost midday. I got up really, really late today. Um, really struggled to get to sleep. So I kind of slept um, far into today instead. One thing I've really noticed is yesterday I noticed on... The video like I had a bump here and obviously my nose is very red I don't really suffer suffer from bad acne um but since the surgery I've had some like really big 
spots come up but like you know like the really swollen ones that like feel very like liquidy in the inside gross um but yeah i've got one on my nose my nose is very red and very swollen the one here is going um i did a bit of research apparently it's very very normal um to have a few breakouts after after this after a surgery um anesthetic i've also got a really dry lip which um I was like peeled in the night um so i'm not really looking the most attractive and i've got this so i'm just looking great at the moment um as you can see i'm actually dressed today I'm still having to wear everything very low down which is annoying because i'm like a, a high up girl usually very very swollen I, I just i'm assuming this swelling is not going to go down um for the next six weeks so i don't know why i um commentate on the swelling each day because this is actually not going to go for the foreseeable future i woke up this morning had a shower brushed my teeth flossed shaved my legs um just brushed my hair back so i'm really trying to do all the things that i would usually do on a normal day rather than just kind of sit around um and watch netflix in a bit of a slump so i feel much better that i'm i'm clean and ready to go and i I did like the half shower today. I didn't do the full shower. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. I haven't eaten or drank or taken taken any meds yet. So I'm going to do that. Nothing really to um, talk about other, other than it was so much easier to get out of bed today um, than it has been on previous days. So they did say that day four would be easier. I can confirm that my movement is much better today. I'm obviously still hunched over, um, but it is not as painful getting out of bed. I would say, you know, the struggle and the pain of getting out of bed day one was 10 out of 10, then probably nine, eight. And today, it's like a five. Um, it was really easy to get out of bed. Um, so that is better definitely getting some itching now like I feel very very itchy especially around the incisions that would be the belly button and the the full incision um very very itchy and annoying I find myself just like reaching into the top of my bands and and, and itching to take some of that away I know that some of the itching is going to be also from wearing the compression band as well so day four it's Friday today um had the surgery on monday um so i've still got five days until i have my drains out that is the thing that i'm really looking forward to i feel like the drains are really they hold me back from getting dressed because i can't pull anything up and over um so i'm really looking forward to the drains coming out uh 45 45 or 65 i think it's about 45 mils of fluid come out of the drains this morning so that has significantly reduced it's still around a pinky color um i don't really want to post any videos or pictures of my body yet i'll be honest with you it looks very very raw um and i just don't think that you anyone will gain from seeing that i would just say expect yourself to look very bruised very swollen very red and raw and a bit dirty because i've still i'm struggling to get the the pen and stuff off and i'm not like you know scrubbing my stomach to do that so i don't think anyone will gain from seeing this in fact it might just really put you off um so i'm not going to post any pictures of my uh, any videos of my body maybe when i'm a little bit more recovered i'll then t i'll then um do like a comparison against the photo but I don't really want to show my body. I obviously am not enjoying what I see at the moment. I'm just trying to be positive that the scar is going to fade. And in, you know, six months time, it's going to look better. In 12 months time, even better. 18 months time, which seems like a long way away. I'm going to be like 38, uh, almost 38 when that comes round. Um, but it's going to look, you know, hopefully very, very faded. So... I just don't see the I don't see any um positives of kind of showing that in, in other in, yeah I think in fact it'll just 
scare people off a little bit, but that's what they're going to look like. So once I'm sort of two, three weeks in, I'm sure I'm going to look much better. I'm going to be able to shower better and I'll be able to really clean up the incision. Because at the moment, the incision looks about this thick because it's very bloody and it's obviously raised from the glue. Um, my belly button is just black and cut, it's full of like dark blood inside that I obviously cannot get out um, at this stage. So absolutely no benefit in my opinion of of doing any kind of showing of my body. Um, and actually I think people will gain more from seeing that I'm actually up and about, I'm dressed today, I'm about to make myself some food, I'm on my own today. Um, and yeah, feel feel good, pain, not been on any pain meds since 10 p.m. last night. I'd say I'm not in a lot of pain, actually. Probably a three or a four. Um, the itchiness is probably more annoying right now. And I'm getting like, I'm, I'm now starting to feel sort of the pain from the incisions rather than the the, the muscle and the um, the muscle repair, which was 100% worse than, than the incisions. The incision pain is just a bit of an annoying pain rather than a, um, a deep pain. Obviously, every time you move the muscles, you can be in agony. My friend did come round yesterday um, with, um, and he's very funny. So his girlfriend's been staying with me. He came round, he's very funny. He made a few jokes and I was in agony. I'm like, you cannot, you cannot come round and make jokes in my house. I've not been watching anything funny. I've literally been watching murder documentaries. Anything that is not going to make me laugh. You do not want to laugh. It is painful. Um, the other thing to note is I've still barely been a toilet since my um, since my surgery. So I've been taking like two laxatives today. I'm probably going to take three today um, because I definitely need to go. It's been five days now since surgery, including surgery day. Um, yeah, that's it. I will catch up with you probably tomorrow. Um, and hopefully things will be improving even more but yeah feeling good um i would say anyone that watches these videos that are going through the journey day one is going to be so so tough um day two is going to be almost as tough as as day one day three was much better day four is significantly improving um on day three so i would say you've just got to push through those first two days third day is going to be tough um and then it really does significantly get better. So just keep thinking, right, I just need to get to day four, day five, day six. Um, and then when you see your body, remember to think about the long term um, and, and the fact that, you know, that scar is going to be a, a little white line um, rather than anything else. So hopefully that helps anyone today um, and I'll speak soon.